It is 821. I've got a guest in the studio. I have Zach Upton with our San Angelo Police Department with us. And good morning, Zach. Good morning. Good to have you back in here. Yes. We're coming up on a couple of things. One being the rodeo here and also getting very, before we talk about that, we're getting serious and I'm glad to see it about texting and driving. Yes. Um, effective January 9th, San Angelo does now have a city ordinance. Um, you notice they, of course, the media covered it quite well. And then if you drive down any of the main roads, there's big, huge flashing signs that say don't text and drive. Um, but the main thing with that is the way it's worded, it says you can't use an electronic to device um, to send or view electronic messages um, that are used to communicate. So pretty much that's saying you can't use your phone to send a text message or look at a text message. Now, it's not against the law if someone sends you a text message while you're <laughs> while you're driving. It's just if you start reading it. That's, start where reading you, it. Yeah. that's when you have the problem. Um, so the main thing is just stay off your phones. Um, it's, it's a very good thing to keep us more paying attention to the road and less distracted. Um, well, you know, I, in my own personal opinion, I think that driving drunk is probably safer than texting because at least you're looking at the road, but uh, you know, I don't, you're just very delayed in your responses. (laughs) I don't, uh, I don't encourage that of course, but, uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying when you're texting and you're looking down at your phone, you're not looking at the road at all. Yeah, it, it's it's very bad. Um, we actually, uh, TxDOT and uh, one of the local distributors and stuff, they got a uh, a simulator type deal, and they can simulate, you know, you know, hey, look down at your phone and how fast things happen whenever you look back up. Um, yeah. Of course, with those, it's set up, you know, there's lots of pedestrians, stuff like that. But, I mean, it, it shows just how fast something can happen whenever you glance down, um, especially moving at 30, 40 miles an hour because you're, those couple of seconds looking down, you're, you're covering several hundred feet in those few seconds. Anything can happen. Yes. All right. Um, the other thing, uh, with it is, um, just went blank for the first time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we can go into our rodeo talk now. <laughs> oh, before we get away from yes. it, you could run up a fine it's, as yes, much it's as a, it's, um, up to $500 because it's a class C misdemeanor. So, um, I doubt the first time you would see a five hundred dollar fine, but for habitual offenders, that that could potentially happen is the five hundred dollar fine for them. Well, I am glad to see that we are getting very very serious about it, and I think that is a wonderful thing, and should should make driving a lot safer. Yes, and and it just popped in my head while I was thinking of a second ago. Um, we pulled statistics. It's been about a year ago now, but it was to see on distracted driving and re- relation to accidents. And we had almost 20% of our accidents listed distraction as, as one of the contributing factors. And that's how many people told us. So most people aren't going to tell us, Hey, I was texting and driving. Yeah. That's why I rear ended the car in front of me. Most <laughs> people aren't going to tell you that. So if it was almost 20, we can safely assume that the number is much higher. Much than that. higher. So, so hopefully, you know, people will do what they're supposed to um, abide by the ordinance and we'll be able to, to slow down on the number of accidents that we have. All right. Well, good advice. And I'm glad it's law now. <clears throat> now, Zach, let's jump off into the fact that we are approaching rodeo time. Yes. It, it starts a little bit earlier this year. So, so I'm covering it in January, um, is safety while driving at the rodeo. Cause there's a ton of traffic, especially if the weather's nice. Last year wasn't so nice, so hopefully we're in for a good year this time around. I hope. <laughs> we'll be out there pretty much the whole time. Yes, and and I'll be out there working pretty much the whole time. So <laughs> so that's one of the tips is pay attention to the officers working traffic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, the main thing, keep good distance between you and the vehicle in front of you because, um, once again, the, the most common accident we see out there are people rear-ending the, the person in front of them because – you know, it's just a chain reaction of slamming on brakes. Oh yeah. It just takes a couple of second extra delay and you've rear into the person in front of you. Um, so slow down, um, avoid the area. If you're not even going to the rodeo, that's, that's a good deal. Cause we get people that get stuck in it. Cause it'll back up almost to 29th street. Oh yeah. I know. Uh, especially on the weekends and then, uh, carpool if you can. I mean, a lot of people are going with friends and family, fit as many people as you safely can in the vehicle. That way there's less vehicles that you have to deal with traffic wise. And I know also that, uh, you know, we have one of the largest rodeos, uh, in the world. And, uh, we have a lot of people that come in from out of town that aren't necessarily familiar with the area. And so they try to make a turn at the last second (laughs) and go, Oh, I need to turn here. Yeah. (laughs) Right in front of everybody. They don't, (laughs) 
it's just they need to go there and don't know any other way to go. So, um, so be careful, pay attention. Um, as you mentioned earlier, I mean, we, we can't stop them all. So, so pay attention. There might be intoxicated drivers. I mean, you just got to be very cautious when driving in that large of a group. All right. Well, some, some great things that you pointed out today, that texting thing, folks, remember that man, they are not playing around on that deal and they shouldn't be playing around and you shouldn't be playing around on your phone while you're driving. <laughs> right? Correct. All right. And rodeo time. Uh, I'll see you at the rodeo for sure. Yes, sir.